Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing a video on just a rundown of Fanatical. Uh, originally, this is probably 2014, 2015, maybe 2016. Uh, Fanatical did a name change. Originally their name was Bundle Stars. Uh, back when they were Bundle Stars, they had a lot of great um, content available for dirt cheap. So if you're looking for cheap games, it's still a spot to go, but I realize that there's still some issues. So this is what I want to talk on a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a rundown of Fanatical, kind of what bundles they have, what games they have, what I like about them, what you can do with the website and service, however. But um, my favorite thing about it, it's probably like the game keys themselves. Uh, the cheap bundles again the thing about fanatical you really have to look into your games because if I go to these bundles there's a good chance they're all indie titles they have AAA games here and there but a lot of them are like indie titles you gotta kinda like you kinda gotta like look at them and just you know be sure that's what you wanna buy uh, a lot of single player games and some multiplayer games here and there and on a good price too good deals they're not as good as they once were in my opinion but they're more popular um, a lot of these like bundle stars fanatical humble bundle um, they used to be really good with like charities being very charitable being able to give a lot of that cash toward a charity of your own liking uh, I I'm not sure if they still do that on Fanatical, but on Humble Bundle, it's kind of, they still do that. But there, it's more or less like a lot of that money still goes to whoever's selling. It still goes to Humble Bundle. So, here we are. We're going to be looking at the bundles we have, um, talking about mystery bundles, just about everything. This is going to be a quite long video, I would say. Um, so the other day, I go to look into the bundles that they have. They have books, software, games. I go for the games. They have uh, hot deals. They also, uh, they have a star deal. I think they call it a star deal. And that's like literally based on their star, uh, bundle star, um, style that they used to have. Now, so I was going to pick up, I actually did end up picking it up, but I was upset because they I was surprised because I emailed them I'm like oh so I want to pick up a few of these games it's called cryo cryofall and it was on one of the bundles that they have out let me see I'll switch over um, cryofall might be able to view keys okay yeah I've already used them so no big deal but um but basically I was looking for a bundle that would allow me and a lot of uh, a lot of my friends to kind of play together um, just be able to play with everybody something simple something indie title style this way we're really not like spending too much out of pocket and I end up getting a copy of Cryofall copy of Autonauts and a copy of um, shoot what's that one pilot game I just I was just looking at it before uh, Bomber Crew I figured I'd check them out old games I kind of wanted to test out kind of like lower lower titles not quite triple A but still good titles so I pick up Cryofall really I wanted to buy like three or four Cryofall keys but they don't allow you from what I saw and emailed I was like so I wanted to just buy three cryo falls because the keys were what five I think it was five bucks for three keys or something like that and I told them like I just wanted three cryo falls granted I still wanted a bomber crew to add on because it looked really cool but they told me they were like well you can't buy multiple keys on this deal so back in the day you used to be able to do whatever you wanted to do buy as many keys as you wanted to 
Cryofall's going for like twenty, thirty dollars. Um, so I don't definitely wanted to rack up on Cryofall, especially because I know my buddies might play it, might. So it would have been a great, would have been a great investment overall. Everyone would have loved it. But as they did tell me that I was not able to buy several keys. So if you're looking to buy several keys on the bundles they might not allow it so that really sucks but um you know they're very good they are, they have a lot of good stuff um this was actually like mystery stuff like mystery sale free sale usually to be completely honest the mystery bundles don't normally go in your favor they really don't but occasionally you'll find something good like as you guys may know, I've done a few videos kind of replaying these free, well not free, but cheap mystery game titles, and occasionally I'll come across a really good title. Like, um, as you see here, Perfect Heist. Good game. I want to buy Perfect Heist too. Um, I got that off a of mystery key. The mystery key was probably a dollar, maybe a dollar ninety-nine, but I always add on a mystery game key when I buy any bundle just what I do because you know I like to test there are some good games that come out of these mystery game keys so um, perfect heist was definitely one of them um, let's see also another game that I recently got off a mystery bundle like that was turmoil I love that game. There's nothing... I could play it over and over again. It's literally... Collect all the oil you possibly can as fast as you can and beat out the other opponents. It's kind of... Not quite Monopoly, but, you know, definitely um, an industry-building type of style game, which I like. It gets you in the door and kind of gives you a feeling of what you need to do in real life too you know what you could who could do I mean it it's very it's meant to be back in the 1860s somewhere around that and then maybe the 1900s maybe but it's really a game that's meant to be kind of like oh when the oil rush was happening um, when people were making so much money and this is how they made it this is what they did and guess what? You have competition that you got to work against. So, you know, that was a pretty... It makes a good game. But, um, like I said, occasionally they'll have good ones. Uh, Fanatical Quest VR Bundle. Be careful when you're buying VR bundles. Because a lot of them are specifically for the PC. They're for Steam. I don't like the way they play. I never have... My PC was pretty stacked. I had a 6700 XT with a um, Risen 7 5700G. And the game still played horribly on Steam, through Steam. So I don't know what it was. I was playing Direct Wire. Again, I don't know what it was. If you're looking, I recommend trying to find Quest VR bundles that play directly through the Quest. They have them all the time. But usually they're playing through Steam, so I will. I'll even look. Like, see, best of VR build your own bundle. I'll tell you right now, Steam, 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 Steam. Like, these are all just Steam games. Steam VR. I don't like the way Steam VR plays. So, just me. I'm sure there's plenty of updates. I'm sure Steam is doing what they have to do. But. Again, I've tried it wired. I've tried it virtual with virtual desktop. Still hasn't been able to do anything for me. It just feels, especially virtual desktop. I don't know why. That just feels so horrible. Just so glitchy. Updates, again, as I always say, updates are there. Updates eventually will do great. And I'm sure with the hardware advancements, and everything the games are just going to play better overall and updates of course but yeah games are just going to start playing better um but here we go we have 
Arizona Sunshine. Everyone wants this game. It's a great zombie game. Looks amazing. Um, see a couple photos. Again, you just first zombies. Pretty awesome. Uh, Doom VR VFR. Looks cool. It's another game. If this said quest, oh, I'd pick it up in a heartbeat. No problem. Zero caliber. Looks like a good game. I'm pretty sure you have to like move around a lot. You need a lot of space for these games, for this game at least. So, let's see. Wolfenstein. That's cool. It's a little different. A cyber pilot. That looks cool. I'm sold. Contractors. I, again, this is another one of those type of games where you need a lot of space. Just be ready. You got to move around. Atex Cybernetic is cool. Um, I believe I tried this one. I'm pretty sure I liked it. I think I tried this, yeah. Kingdom Brawl, something like that. Uh, card games, I don't know. They just give me a headache. They'd be running around everywhere. They try their best, but... Again, this is just my experience with these games, but overall... A lot of a lot of cool, interesting things. Three for fourteen ninety nine. Again, if I would, I'd probably get Arizona Sunshine. I'd want Doom. And then the third one I'll put up in the air because like contractors, probably where I'd be at. Check out some more game bundles. Showcase bundle. Four ninety nine. Um, with this, these are all very indie style. I'd probably look up every single one. I'd go through all these videos and just kind of just see what you're looking at here. Because I don't know what I'm looking at here. They could be a lot of bad games, could be a lot of good games. But it is literally you got to look and you got to do your research and figure out what's good, what's bad because let's see hidden gems we'll start right to left we'll usually do left to right but another one of those you got to kind of like look through I don't know what I could actually do on with with YouTube but um, auto knots this is actually yeah this is the one I, I picked up build your own slayer bundle 7 Auto knots looked good. Kind of build up. Um, again, escapist is pretty decent. Cryofall. If I could like, it's literally a colony building game. I have a video on it. If you guys want to check it out, definitely check it out. Build farms. You could play a multiplayer. I'm pretty sure you could verse each other. Definitely cool. I wanted to add more than one, but you could only do one per. So that's pretty rough. Bomber Crew. Another one I wanted to add more than one. Apparently it's not a multiplayer game. But I really looked at the comments seeing why it's not a multiplayer game. They're like, well, you really sit around for 20 minutes just looking for stuff to shoot at. And, you know, if, say, you were multiplayer, you'd be sitting around... You'd both be sitting around looking for anything to shoot at, and you really have nothing to do. So, the game's great. Like, they keep saying, I was looking through comments and stuff, reading through. It's like, you really just just keep some sim single-player games, just keep them single-player. Because some games are just meant to be single-player, you know. If you add two people, you have nothing to do. Or maybe they'd have to add more contact, I don't really know. I played it a little bit. Um... Overall, I got nothing to say about the other ones, but those three games are pretty good. So, let's see what else we got. Platinum Collection. Frostpunk, if you haven't tried it yet, good strategy game. Really, in my opinion, difficult. Definitely a difficult game. Uh, the Evil Within... If you haven't played it yet, if I'm not a freaking broken record by now, 
check it out. It is terrifying. This is one of those type of games. If you like horror movies, if you like scary games, this is a hit. Definitely don't overlook it. Moonlighter, I don't know. Again, another indie title, run around, slash, get to work. If you like them, you like them. Let's see, Let's check out some more bundles. Radical favorites, Let's check it out. Dead Island Definitive, can't go wrong, definitely not. Tropicals, you either love it or you hate it. Tropical. I actually looked at this game. I like these style games. Very old and kind of like, um, I don't know, like OG StarCraft or OG freaking Age of Empires style. From what I could see. Interesting. Um, for cheap, for cheap, I don't know about that, I'd probably go cheaper than, peep, cheaper than that, but for cheap, cheap, maybe worth it, kind of cool, definitely like the style. Rimworld, if you like Rimworld, Stalker, um, definitely a cool style, right off the, ra right off the bat. Let's see, it looks like um some type of fallout nuclear style town. I can't really tell. Yeah, it looks cool. Shoot. Nothing crazy. Um just just that's kinda like the game bundles. Again, a lot of these indie titles you really gotta look up. You gotta do your research, see what they're all about. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't, you know, it's really, I feel like I know right off the bat if I like a game or not. I know by just watching brief videos, I'll either like it or I'll hate it. Usually I don't like it, but occasionally, as you guys seen, I've had a few uh, good experiences with these games and, oh man, I want to get Heist 2. Heist 2 looks cool. I want to, but I'm like, eh, do I want to spend the money? I don't really know, but we'll see. We'll see. See, I think this is so cool, because if you got, like, a Kindle or anything that'll read books and stuff, this is great. Dollar. They had this for free, too. A free Python learning class, like, robotics, coding, um... VR, Blender animation. I bought a bunch of these Blender animation uh, packages. They have all these tutorials, and just everything, everything you could need. If I had a time, had the time to really go wild with it, they have game creator style um, blueprints and manuals and whole nine. Cybersecurity, anything you want to learn, like a lot of things that you want to learn. Unreal game development, that's cool. It's definitely a great place. Working with Linux, um, Hack User Bundle, Cloud Computing, definitely cool. Software, let's go software. Python, game design. Coding, marketing, social media, marketing, like e-learning bundle, that's cool. Studio graphics. Just doing a quick little brief. I'm never really in this section, but occasionally. I'm just trying to see what they got. Digital marketing, YouTube marketing diploma. Interesting. Basically, I guess they just try to teach you what they can. What they know. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you could buy AAA titles, you know, Skyrim, that's a VR, 
Total Warhammer. Warhammer. Got some decent titles, Civ. Uh, if you go to store, browse all. You see, browse all. See, they have good titles. Um, Guilty Gear. Doctor Who. This is just a brief overview, but. Euro Truck Sim. I like Euro Truck Sim. I have it. I haven't played it in forever, but it's it's one of those like you gotta grind. American Truck Sim, same thing. You gotta grind. Um, yeah, but they got some decent titles on here. Honestly, the bundles. You know, keep an eye out. Look around. Um, the game, the cheap game keys are always out there. More Metal Gear Solid, uh, Zombie Army 4. I like the Zombie Armies. I don't have the money to buy the fourth one, but my, me and my buddies, I purchased them all. Zombie Army 3, great game, great fun game. Wreckfest, good game, especially for that price. Elden Ring, I haven't really checked out too much. Subnautica, it's a lot for that game, I feel like, but good game gets boring after a while for sure Total War Rome oh and remastered don't get me started and I could use that I could use that I actually have this game on the CD but I just don't have a CD player to hook it up to my PC $23 though but yeah but um Again, thank you everyone for watching. This was my fanatical review uh, video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Everything everything counts. Everything helps the channel. Um, again, my, my Robin Hood and my first trader at the bottom. If you guys are interested in starting a portfolio for your stocks, um, you know, just use the link. It will give you a free stock. Um, Thanks again, everybody. Have a nice rest of your day.